You know what's so okay, funny? Okay, that ain't no gray. Huh? That ain't no gray. Exactly. Right? You know what's so funny? It's fine. A lot of women just do that. Wow. Well, like, um, being they in love with the idea of a relationship, but they ain't really ready for a relationship. So I was one of those women. Yeah. So like you, you would like you would get into a relationship with a woman, or she would make you feel like she want a serious relationship, and then when you get there, then you see things change, or you notice like what you thought she was, she ain't really that person. Was she playing games at first? No. She was straight up. Yeah, that's what Sam. I think the problem with us in society is there's a light that flickers on at some point in our life. And a lot of times it ain't flicker yet, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Like, we're, because we're so, we're so, we're so trained, we we're so trained to, that's why I say, you know, my thing is now, when we see, when we see somebody we're attracted to, we automatically rush straight into you as mine. I yeah. think what's important yeah. nowadays is to subdue those Feelings Feeling. and just be friends. Because when you friends with somebody, you get to see the they good, colors. they bad, yeah. they ugly. Ain't no touching and no feeling. Ain't none of that. Because then when you involve sex and spending time with somebody and we out together, not as an investment. And after a while, even though I ain't feeling you like that no more, because I done invested in you, that spirit of familiarity pop up and I don't want to move on because uh, we done put this time into each other. And that's how people just get screwed. But... What's what's all what's also difficult for me is um I don't think I could see myself just being platonic with a person and then advance into a, a romantic stage with them. That's always been my difficulty. Yeah. Like if I or if I start to see even if I had an attraction to you, um, and I notice we keeping it strictly platonic, the minute I start I start to lose those attractions and I see you as a friend, I don't think it's no it's never been no coming back from that. And I think that's fine because that means you won't waste your time. Yeah, that's true. Because now, even if y'all have a platonic friendship, f- true feelings don't die that easy. They only expand and get more intimate with each other. Mm-hmm. You'll feel more comfortable around each other. And then because of this person characteristics, you begin to look at them like, hey, you know, yeah. I could really be with this person for a long time. It's when you take out that friendship and now like y'all done in a relationship six months in, you're like, shit, I don't know if I won't be with you. I can't deal with this. You is too much. But again, you already invested. So you feel some level of obligation. And for women, you know, we start to leave mentally before we leave physically. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we done maybe. looking at you like, uh, I can't see this person being my husband. But for her, her, I think a lot of women's issue is we long, we're genetically made, made up to be loved. Mm. And because we looking for that love, it comes in many various ways. Like some girls are lover girls. Some gals are city gals. They cannot deny the fact that everybody wants to be loved. So when you don't get through that phase of this newness and this freshness, what? The lover girl and the city girl? Yeah, Yeah, let me hear the difference. The lover girl. Talk talk in the mic, please. Make sure we hear you probably. Talk in the mic. Turn the mic into audio. So the lover girl is the girl who is is from Jump Street. She wants that relationship. Mm. Mind you, she might not be ready for it, you know, but But she she wants it. The city girl from Jump Street... What she wants is a good time. However, that's still a form of love. You still want to be with somebody. But my pro- like my problem lies when the city girl when the city girls don't know they city girls. So <laughs> what you mean? So they coming across <laughs> you as the lover girl, right? But in all actuality, it's wolf and sheep sheep clothing. Fox. Yeah. Because they, they 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 actually city girls, but they they in love with the idea of okay having someone. And, and you know the crazy and thing I is... Always hate to have that, I, I always hate the hair that's saying, oh, I want to be outside and then come home to my mom. Yeah. You know like, what, ain't no nigga want that. Yeah. I think the, the reality is what nobody wants to say is there's no such... A city girl is a myth. Every woman, our genetic makeup is we want to be loved. Mm. That's what it is. So y'all saying city girls like to say y'all trying to... Um, I think this, the city is correct. It's a coping mechanism because I right. think in this era, everybody want to have one up. Yeah. Nobody wants to look like the ass. Or Nobody the wants one. to look like the clown or the weak one. Yeah. So, and then also too, for us, it's, it's traumas to this. It's layers of traumas to this because our parents, our mothers, a lot of our mothers taught us to be independent, mm. to make sure you work for what you want, to go to school, get a degree. 
they taught us how to be good professionals and wow. then turn around and told us don't depend on no man. It's conflicting. Which generation is this you talking about now? She I'm talking gen- about... Huh? She very gender. Yeah, but which generation? Because I agree with that. I agree with what she's saying, but that only reaches to a certain generation. So my generation, my uh, my mother's generation would have deposited this in us. Right. Because their generation saw a lot of things. My grandmother's generation, that's when the breakdown of the family started to happen and you didn't have... Um, fathers there as much anymore so what they did was they took that trauma and internalized it and tried not to be hurt by men and that's where the broken family continued and then they passed it on to us don't depend on no man be independent go to school this that and next thing they were reflecting their traumas on us but the thing is and this is how I feel as a woman you could go to school you could be the smartest person walking around here but what is going on with your character internally just because you look good on paper, that don't mean you're good for a relationship. Yeah, don't translate into relationships. Correct. Right. And a lot of us have toxic, these toxic traits that we don't understand. So it goes back to you, which you were saying in terms of women, women say they want a relationship, but they ain't ready for it. And that's what it is. We say we want a relationship and we ain't ready for it. And we ain't ready for it because we really ain't tap into who we are authentically. We've been running through this world just being what we thought was acceptable by society being acceptable by um, female friends and I as this boss and I doing this and I doing this and making sure my parents happy. But at the same time, I got to look good because, yeah, I ain't supposed to depend on no man. But internally, I want somebody. Mm. So for a woman to ever say, I don't need nobody, that's a lie. Everybody is made for companionship. That's how God made us. God saw Adam was lonely. He created Eve. What was Eve? Eve was the helpmate. You can't run from that. So you being a city girl, it's a myth. You might jump into things thinking it's a good time and this, that, and next thing. But the more time you spend with somebody, that spiritual connection, and that's why the Bible speaks about soul ties, it's going to start triggering off and you are going to want more from that person. And then what happens is that man, he ain't tied to you because men are genetically made, made up differently. He already know in his mind what this is. And what he's going to do eventually is he's going to walk away. He's going to play with your head. But it all turns into now you have more trauma to deal with because you put yourself into that situation. It had nothing to do with the man. And I think that's another thing that we need to come to. Accountability. You put yourself there. It didn't work out. It's fine. I am knocking nobody for living that life. But the bottom line is we all want to be loved. And you just have to find out what it looks like for you to be loved properly. And don't pay attention to social media. Do what's best for you. Oh, these women going to hate you today. They I mean, today. I'm sorry. And you know what? I'm sorry because somebody <laughs> needs to say it. That's somebody true. has to say it. I'm not going to be the one to say, yeah, girl, make sure you get what you get on him. Hell no. Like, if you want love, go out there and find love. And don't be scared to... Ain't no, but there's no such thing as looking like an ass. You only get one life to live. And when you want something in life, you go after it. Don't mm-hmm. pay attention to nobody else. Because half of these gals who who preaching to you, telling you, the older women who preaching to you, telling you you don't need a man, they home or they vibrated with their cats at night and they miserable. Don't fall into that. Oh, dog. No, they self care. They self care. They got it. So, question. Yeah. I, I agree with everything you said, and then that was quite profound. And like River said, those, these girls can be mad at you. Right. <laughs> right. So question. Um, you mentioned something about everybody needing companionship. You feel as if it's the same thing for men. You think it's, you think a man could be by himself for, no. for a long time. I mean, if he just has a woman, he calls just for sex. You think he can do it? No? So after a while, he's gonna want to. He's gonna want that companionship. That's how we're made up. He's gonna want that partnership. That's literally how we made up. You you speak to a lot of men who run through their twenties and thirties and their forties, going into fifties. And they really want somebody now. I feel like a lot of men feel um, unappreciative, unappreciated and used now. So you find, you find, because I was talking to one of my friends um, the other day, mm-hmm. and we were speaking about men stepping up to a role to be a stepfather. Mm-hmm. Even in that as- aspect, I don't feel like this generation sees that as an honor no more, as it was when our parents was growing up. Like the men in, our, in that generation, they saw a man stepping up to the plate and being a stepfather to someone else's child as uh, some, somewhat of an honor. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think they look at it like that. I think they look at it as they hey, use a conk, use a clown, because why are you taking care of someone else's child, you know what I mean? And then you know the... Everyone have this perception now that, you know, women is, you know, women, they really ain't the type of women that me and our, our, our mothers, grandmothers were. 
So the degeneration different and men, I guess, they see um, being a provider. A lot of men see being a provider and protector for a lot of women very scarce now, you know, because they might do it in vain. Because a lot of a lot of the, a lot of the women I feel nowadays ain't really appreciate appreciative. They say they want that, but I still feel like it's a it's a common line between what they want or their their reality and actuality. You know what I mean? Or their perception. We put it like that. I get what you're saying, <clears throat> and this is where I have to put accountability on the men. I completely get what you're saying because a man, one thing about men, y'all feelings run deeper than women. So when y'all actually care about somebody, y'all actually care. Like, and y'all in, in y'all don't want to put yourself in a position to get hurt. Y'all are way more protective of y'all feelings than we are because y'all love harder. That's how I feel. I feel like men love harder. I agree. And Lee. the thing about that is, is where I have to give y'all wrong and how, hold y'all accountable is because some of these females will show y'all what y'all what they into. That's but true. some of y'all is feel like I could change this. You, if if yeah, some of y'all just feel like y'all could turn this girl into what y'all mommy or I've never, y'all. Some of y'all feel that way. She's not showing you what she I've into. never had that sentiment or thought of of going into a relationship. I think it's uh, the other way around. I think women do that. Yeah, I feel women, but Me. I will tell you this: I I have went into um, situations feeling sorry for people, so I may have done things to Ooh, make them no. So pity relationships. Not pity relationship, but I might have done things to make solely to make them happy. You know what I mean? And and and, and my whole hopes was to all right, show them hey. You was trying you, to change her? You, not no, not change. Or her. you was trying to groom her? Like that's the word they like use for men. No, groom. That, see, you trying like to groom? We like to use these, use these new terms, but yeah. we using them wrong. I don't think that was grooming. It's just me trying to. I, it's me trying to show her that hey, it was a different. It was a different upbringing from what you tell me. You hot. Or oh, there, there's a different world out there other than what you've been through. Okay. As a, you know what I mean? What kind okay. of man are you used to is different man And it wasn't even okay. men. It was more so of upbringing. Like, like well, what she told me. She grew up. The, the way she told me she grew up. Mm. I was trying to show a, it's a different world from that. Okay. You know what I mean? So a lot of things I did was to show her, hey, you know, you don't have and to be a... This is in their relationship or this is a situation? No, this was a relationship. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I mean, well, I don't think anything wrong with that. Yeah, I don't think anything wrong with that. But hey, I don't think man. I, I, I think it's I think it's opposite though. I think women try to change men versus we try to turn into a housewife. I think you do we, have some guys who's captain save a hoe though, trying to turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> you do have some of them guys. So I don't like the term hoe. Um, sorry. Let me, okay. It's just a familiar term. Let yeah, me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think I think it's both. I think it's both genders. When people, there's a difference with, and that's why friendship is important. Because mind you. People might not change, but they'll grow. Mm. And that's why friendship is important. If me and yeah. you have a friendship and I show in you, and again, if somebody really cares for you, you can teach them how to love properly because some people don't know how to love properly, no. which is fine because that's just our community. We have to come to but the realization wouldn't that... Wouldn't be considered you changing them? No, it isn't. Te- it's teaching them, eh? It's teaching, it's them. teaching them how to like, love you properly. Them. Yeah, it's yeah. Te- is, there, is you teaching them... But could you teach someone who's, who's unwilling to learn? No, no, then let them go because exactly. that means they don't they don't have a love for you. So I still think I still I still think it boils when down to when men love you, they when men really in love with you, you can teach a man how to love you properly. Yeah, but I still think it it boils down to it, are right. you with a person that is ready to do these things? Because if they aren't fully ready to do these things, no matter what you show them and teach them or try to teach them, they won't receive it well. But certain situations can bring that to light for you. Yeah, certain conversations even like. When you have a conversation, the way people answer tells you how they think. And then you know how to move from there. Like, okay, so that's how you think. All right, I know what to do. That's Even their actions. Off. Now, the thing is, too, if you choosing to stay with that, then that means you yourself ain't ready for a relationship. Oh, I'll never stay. Yeah. Trust me. I's the king. I'm giving you. I'm going to see you, bro. Never day. stay. Bye. <laughs> never stay. Let's kick this part off the right bro. way. <laughs> we set the mood a little bit for y'all, man. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I... Hold on now. We gotta get some music going now. Why you playing? Ain't playing. You saying? Why you ain't playing? Oh. We started off with close friends. All right. But that's a good conversation though. I like. 
what you were saying. I, I, really I spoke that. about that um, with a lot of people, mm-hmm. especially the fact of like the reason why men don't see it as an honor nowadays to take care of women the way they should or the way they was be supposed to. It's because it's, it's going vain. It really is going vain. But so okay, let me tell you something. Something what you say earlier, you saying the stab die thing, right? Mm. I don't. I me, don't know. Me, let me. That's the question I wanted to ask you. Would you, would you date someone like serious long term relationship with kids? But I have kids, so I'd be I'd be very selfish to say I'd be very after for me to say no. I wouldn't date a girl with kids. S- I would, right? Well, all right. That's let me. That, I let me frame the question. Yeah, please. Would you prefer to date a woman with kids or without kids? I prefer without. Okay. I prefer without. Mm. Um, with kids, once I meet your kid and we interact and I see how the child is, because see, every child is different, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and I see that your child is willing to take to me, showing them and teaching them and helping them grow, I am all on board with that. But if I can see a child is a rude, resentful child and all these things, <laughs> I ask them, I ask them Oh, yeah, okay. One yeah. second. One yeah. second. Let me see some. One second. Oh, yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah, boy. I think that's fair. I think. I think. Um, nobody wants to deal with. Mis- rude, rude, yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to deal. And with then, that. like, most kids would be like, "From you here, this line is already a problem. You ain't my daddy. Yeah. From you here, lie. Yeah. Are you ain't my mommy? Yeah. From you here, lie. That's it. I don't know how to, to even fix that 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 situation. That child ain't gonna never respect you. you. You see what I'm saying? Or they're never gonna view you as as anything more than what they just said. You're not you're not who you are. Two to one, they ain't respect the parent. No, I see that's the next thing. I, I said this before on a previous podcast. Your child can be rude all you want, all they want, but it's how you parent. Mm-hmm. If you just get that child in check and order, I might could work with that. I might because then. You doing your part. That child just needs some more shaping and honing to get to where they need to be. Mm-hmm. But if your child is rude and disgusting, you just let her fly, let her go. Oh, it's been a pleasure. It's been nice. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't get no better. And who am I as not not being that child's father to step in and say, "This is that, that is this." Yeah. You, the way you care on your old lady, you can care on the same with me. Yeah. Because if you respect your old lady, you respect who her partner is and what she says. Yeah. As I tell anybody, like, as a man, be careful of these gals who you're dealing with. Boy, I, be very I, I, careful. I see, you could say that all you want, right? But you could date a girl, and y'all could be peaches and roses and all these sweet things. And the minute you decide to leave, and she ain't ready for you to leave, you get hell in your hands. You didn't even know she was that kind of person until you was ready to leave. No, your problem is y'all don't be paying attention close enough. You think so? Yeah, some men, some of y'all oblivious. You know, they be showing y'all things from Jump Street. Oh boy, I see. But men, time. men are just y'all oblivious. Like y'all just y'all oblivious. You and that's another thing. That's where the balance comes in. A woman will sit down and analyze stuff. Like she will analyze things to the T. For instance, if you ask a woman to plan a party, she even get down to like the cups and the napkins and stuff like that. If y'all you ask a man to plan a party, y'all thinking about drinks and food. Y'all ain't thinking about knife fork. I think about all that. You think about so you're different the average man you had River say? Music. That's it. So the, uh, a lot of a lot of things, and that's where the balance for, comes for, in. For my for my say something, I think of Check every it. detail that I need to think of. So you had a crazy woman before? I've had a few. So it's you. You're the problem. Yeah. No. It ain't them. It ain't them. It's you. Say? Okay. It ain't just him. Let me, let me speak. Let me speak. <laughs> let me speak. My crazy women has, uh-huh. has transpired or act on their crazy acts when I decided to leave them. No, no, no. They was always crazy. You like that fire? Just be honest. Just the podcast. And that's what you tell like, me. Okay, here's, my, here's what I like. Right? Uh-huh. And I've said this. Let's say what you like off yeah, of the start yeah, of this yeah. podcast. Because yeah. right. we've been. Okay, but. It was a good little mood, you know? Look at that, y'all, y'all. I guess you wonder <laughs> where I've been. What about you, <laughs> but they wouldn't do for love. Oh, 
Oh yeah. They'll never know you though. Mm -mm. They had a good mood, you know. New banks and infinite, infinite, infinite. Uh, rivers. Welcome to episode 50 <laughs> wow. of the Two for Two <laughs> podcast. I'm your wife. That was an intro. All right. Go. All right. All right. Go ahead. Wow. Go ahead. No, we can definitely not go ahead. Yeah. Welcome to episode 50 of the Two for Two podcast. I'm your host. Rivers here today with some special friends. Um, Banks is here. We got Danny back with us. We love to have you back. Um, Tom is here. Nye is here. Sean is on her way. She isn't here just yet, but she's with us in spirit. Um, I'm excited. We halfway through a buck, 50. Proud of it. Um, yeah, we, we, we also... I had a special announcement that um, we made the top 50 on, what, what's it called? Feed Spots. Yay! Yeah, so we round of applause. Round of applause. applause. Let's see if I can find you. That's a long one. Huh? That's a long one. It's a long one? Yeah, I can't find you. I can't find you in the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's a long one. Oh my God. Still good. I can't see him to find out the applause. Oh, that's the girl. That's the best one. So, yeah, um, top 50 mm -hmm. podcasts on the web. I'm excited about that. Proud of it. I'm proud for that. I'd like to thank all of you guys for being a part of this uh, once again. Um, even with seeing that, I felt like we got to work harder. I feel yeah. like that's just me. Mm -hmm. I feel like at the end of the year, we should be number one. That was my initial thought, like 26. I don't even like number 26. But nonetheless, I'm grateful. It's an even number. I like even number. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, that's not one of my favorite numbers. So we're going to make that. Mm -hmm. Just continue to push. That's what consistency brings. A lot of people don't realize what consistency brings. I go, Especially I go. when um, things may not go your way all the time. We try to always be consistent. Try to always push through different things. We've... We've had difficult days. We've had days when we didn't feel like coming into this building. You know what I mean? But we get here anyway and we make shit happen. Mm -hmm. And that's the result of it. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's kudos to us. Mm -hmm. um, how y'all feeling? How's everyone weekend? How your mental? <laughs> I feel horrible. Oh, I, yeah, was, I wasn't sure I'd have been able to make it today. Oh, But I'm here. Yeah, I, I'm sick. Well, I'm getting over a, a, like okay. a cold. How do you okay. get the cold, boy? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know which one? Give it to you. No, I'm asking, I don't know. <laughs> which one of what? Persons you might have been around, family, friends. I, I, I honestly don't know. Yay. I do not know how I got the cold. <laughs> but nonetheless, yeah, I have it. And I'm fighting through it. Okay. So this may be my flu game. You guys may just have to take me through it. You know? Yeah, right. And when I dish the ball in the corner, just knock the shot down, please. That's why I'm here, sir. That's all I That's ask. It. I can still drop on 26, 8, and 6. Yeah. You know what I mean? But That's that mamba mentality. Yeah. I see you have the 24. I got you. Even when Brian was sick, mm -hmm. he was still on the court. Yeah, you well, mean like, I, I asked you to come play ball yesterday and you said you sick? No, I had a feeling. Like, you know, yes no, yeah. yesterday. <laughs> I asked him. No, yesterday <laughs> I felt like shit. Like, I had the chills. I had a fever. Oh, I, all yeah, my you body was aching. Like, I, I couldn't do that. You Honestly, I couldn't do that. Big pregnancy test? And you know, so jokey, right? <laughs> <laughs> I try to ignore you most of the time. <laughs> you know, so funny. Um, when I was small, I used to like that feeling. I used to love that feeling. What feeling? Like, Basically. you know, the chills and, yeah, when you, when you get, like, that first initial feeling when you get the cold or the flu. Jesus, what is I, I used to yeah. love that. I used to enjoy yeah. that. I don't know why. Very. Yeah, because you wear That's why. I yeah, can't take that now. Wow. Yeah, I can't take that. I was balled up like a bitch in that bed. Me know. I believe you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, how was your weekend? How, how you been since we last spoke to you? Since you last was on yeah. the pod? Yeah, I've been good this weekend. I had a staycation. Shout mm. out to Atlantis. 
Um, they just oh, opened. <laughs> they opened their um, their new bar, Bar Soul. It's very nice. Oh, nice. Um, it's a very good space. You didn't invite us, but that's. that's I'm so sorry. I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. Um, next time. Okay. The drinks. The drinks are nice. Um, they really did a good thing with that space, and then they also have Peran- Peranza. Um, that's an Italian restaurant in the Cove now. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. It's really, really nice. Like the ambiance. So I had a full weekend. And then week before last, I did work for our news this morning, their morning show. Um, the week before that, I was in Atlanta for Comedy Hypes um, tour. Yeah, their biggest laugh tour. I'm still rocking with Comedy Hype. And it's just like, God is good. That's all I could say. Mm. Like legit, that's all I could say. God is good. When was your last episode? I haven't seen it. Sis? Yeah. So Sis is coming back really soon. For me, Sis was put on hold because there were so much things going on in my life at the moment. And I think it's important to put out meaningful content. Right. Because that was always the base of Sis. So I I literally got to a point where I was stuck in my mind. I didn't know what the hell the topics was going to look like or anything. So I spent like over a year just crafting that and paying attention to the comments and what people liked and trying to stay true to the product because one thing that you don't want to do is try to pivot into so many different things um, that you lose your audience. Right. So sis is coming back really soon. I'm excited about the topics and I'm going to say this on air now so they don't say no. So I actually have on the list to have them on an episode of sis. Oh, awesome. Yes, like, yo, y'all, that's y'all too, y'all that's too. Exciting. Yeah. So. You know we have a new calls, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do, yeah. Sean. So yeah. I actually have that on the list. So there we go. Well, I'll so be we, looking forward to that. We, we were talking about. Oh, y'all want to know? I can't tell. No, I can't no, no, say no, this no, off no, again. No, I can't say this off again. But it's very risky, and I think you. I think you guys would do well on it. I think the show is all about honesty. Mm. And bringing awareness to the community and just making sure that both sides are heard. Because I think we have a misunderstanding when it comes to us in the diaspora, black people, mm-hmm. in terms of female and male. Like you will see online females saying, oh, niggas ain't ish. And then you'll see online men saying, well, um, there's not much good women out there. And I just think it's a form of miscommunication and misunderstanding and not understanding what our love culture looks like. So, I think it's a form of... um. What's the word I'm looking for now? Um, people not being content with themselves. Yeah, that's true. That's 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 the main basis. Like that's where I see the basis of our problem in in the black community nowadays. Like we're so we're so caught up on trying to keep up and maintain and look like mm-hmm. and you know what I mean mm-hmm. to the point where we're not really ourselves. Mm-hmm. So. Once I think we we tackle that issue as a community, then things will start to smoothen out. But we have to start from ourselves. Like it has to be a self consciousness thing, you know. I agree. I agree. Yeah, but um, that sounds great though. Yeah. We we can't wait to be a part of your special project. We love to see the things that you do. I here. made sure I say that on air so y'all can't say no. Thank you. <laughs> so we have this. We, we have this recorded. Yeah. Yeah. No, we open the things that we like when other um, personnel out of, out bring us to their podcast or whatever they have going on, you know. Mm-hmm. It widens our brand and, you know, we get some of your viewers, we get some of our viewers yeah. and networks. Yeah. yeah, and they've been really good to me. You see, I get a bear this time. Y'all don't judge me for drinking out the bottle. Yeah, this is not a Michelob uh, yeah. bottle. Yeah, even... it's not. Let me turn the bottle around. Yeah, don't Because they have to pay us for this. Don't even look for us, Michelob. No, no, they can look for us. They just have to come with Spend their money. money. Yeah. yeah like, oh, that's another thing, too. That's another thing I'm proud of. We did all this shit with no, with likely no sponsors. Yeah. No odd money. Let's talk about that. Everything out the pocket. What? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's something we got to give ourselves kudos for. Mm-hmm. Give us a clap on the shoulder for that. Mm-hmm. Um, so you said with you, mm-hmm. you, you want to keep your content genuine. Mm-hmm. You want to keep everything um, mm-hmm. to the liking of your viewers mm-hmm. and listeners. How difficult you find it, because you do seasons, right? Mm-hmm. How difficult you find it season by season gathering up content or topics to discuss on your put on your personal podcast so season three was the most difficult because again i wasn't in a there was a lot going on with life life was life in yeah and i really like tried like it just was difficult for me to pull topics and that's why season three only has three episodes and mind you i wanted to do more but i had to stop myself and i had to say i just can't 
put something out there just for doing its sake. Like, I have to put something out there that is meaningful. Right. And that will, because the whole base too is, for me, like, as an old church girl, I, I say this all the time, my life is all about ministry. So when I open up my mouth to speak, especially for sis, um, for me, it's all about my voice being used to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want to go off topics that's trending. I don't never want to be like that because when you start off like that, when you go hardcore on what's trending, eventually you'll begin to lose yourself, especially as a woman. You'll begin to do some strange things to keep your audience going. So I don't never want to fall into that category. I want to stay authentic to who I am and the message and whatever God wants to use me for. And so the, for that reason, that's why I had to take a step back because I realized the topic was in flowing. So you, 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 would you say that most of your topics generate around your personal life? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Like, and, and that was difficult for me to insist because I'm not one to talk about my life. People think what you see on social media is what you're going to get out of Danielle. That's not the case. Yeah. Danielle, my life is private. I have a private life. What I put on social media is more so work because I try to keep those around me protected. And even for me talking about my personal experiences, it was difficult. But when I decided to do this, I said, your life has to be a testimony to somebody else. You don't have to talk about everything that happened in your life. And that's why me choosing the topics was also so important because it's only those aspects in my life that I know it was time to speak about that I know would help somebody else. Yeah. So I definitely go, talk a lot about my life experience. Like I talked about having low self-esteem, which was really difficult. Um, and me being a side chick, which was really difficult. Because um, then a woman want to admit that. Like how many women to say that out loud? Like I was a side chick. Spo you spoke City about girls. that the last time you said. Yeah. 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 So the girls said. And then I also spoke about um, me having a mental battle as well. Nobody really wants to speak about that either. Like having anxiety attacks thinking that you're going to die. But again, that's something like people deal with. And I was ready to talk about it. So I spoke about it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's At least it was good that you got to a point where you were comfortable, mature, and, you know, secure enough to speak about those kind of things. Because like you say, everybody's not brave enough. They're not going to speak on it. And the fact that you spoke on it, mm -hmm. it's going to enlighten them and say, I can get to this point as well. Or I can, you know, yeah. further myself. Yeah. And, and with the other show that you do with the... um. That comedic what comedy hype, comedy hype. Yeah, you do that well. The ideas flow from all of you as creatives, right? It's not just yeah. So what well, we have a team. It's a incredible team down at Comedy Hype. Um, John Abba is the lead, and then you have Symphony Thompson, that's the moderator and also operations. Um, and then you have Dom, who's an incredible writer, and then Zell. I shouldn't have started naming people. Yeah, yeah I shouldn't have started name naming people. Name but everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Have they seen this before? Have they seen you on the yes. last one? Okay, yes. that's... So everybody down at Comedy Hype, it's a collective effort in terms of pulling the content and what the topics are going to look like for the show. Um, it's, a, it's a collaborative effort. But when it comes to our thoughts, like our genuine thoughts, like mm. it's legit our genuine thoughts. That's not scripted. Okay. Yeah. Now that's beautiful. Yeah. Um... So what do y'all want to start with today? Y'all want to get with the shit? We're getting yeah. straight to the shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw or heard about the Kiki Bomber situation. But it's all over the internet. Yeah, well. Couldn't, couldn't miss it. For, for the past, for the summer, I should have been getting these girls beat up. <laughs> so he needed to chill out with that. Big Usher, right? Um, apparently, we a couple of weeks late with this, but apparently Kiki Bomber went to one of Usher shows at his residency in Vegas. Um, the the incident took place. It went viral, and maybe a day after, her ex boyfriend, or is it that is that a current boyfriend? He, he's a current. He was a current boyfriend at the time. I don't think we ain't know what's going on now. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, her current boyfriend at the time and father of a child spoke out on social media, and his tweet was some similar to the degree of really, but you're a mom. Or something like that. Me, yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't want to. Me, me, look for it. That's my thing. Oh, let me finish. Why people do everything for social media? But go ahead. Hmm. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Hold on. I just want to see his tweet. I just want to see his tweet. It's about. Uh, we should have had this the outfit. It's about the outfit. Yeah. 
So he sent out a tweet on basically, let me see this tweet. Thinking about Dolphin. Oh, man. Huh? Thinking about Dolphin. I mean, that's what he basically commented on. Damn. Commented on Dolphin. Why can't I find her? What, what's his name anyway? <clears throat> I don't think it was just the outfit. No, it wasn't just that. That was just his lead. Of behavior as well? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think the outfit was his leading point. Oh, the internet made it about our outfit, though. They made it same as though he's insecure about the outfit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the old You're you're a Mom tweet. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, so his his tweet was um, centered around what she had on. Mm -hmm. And... It it was to the effect of don't quote me exactly, but it was something to the degree of, um, oh really? But you're a mom, mm-hmm. so the internet went ablaze for that. Uh I found it. What is it? It's the outfit, though. You are mom. Yeah, it's the outfit, though. You're a mom. Mm-hmm. So that sparked a whole lot of thought, uh, think pieces. Mm-hmm. A whole lot of women coming out of the work saying that um, men aren't, in, our men aren't empowering their women and all this blah, blah, blah. That's what they say? Yeah, a lot of, like, we had a lot of think pieces. You know how the internet go. But mm-hmm. um, I want to hear your all initial thoughts on that entire situation with Usher, the outfit, as well as her reaction to the whole situation. Now, I would go on record to say that my issue isn't with the outfit or what she had on, you know, and I would like to say that he probably saw that outfit. Well, I could only speculate, but he probably saw that outfit before she gave it to us. The thing about women's clothing is sometimes you don't see that on them. It don't look as bad. So... I would bet that he saw the outfit, maybe by intention or maybe by, maybe not by intention. He probably ever put it on. I, I say the same thing. So, yeah, so I, that's why I don't even want to discuss or get into the conversation of the outfit mm-hmm. from my end, because I don't, I don't have a problem with the, with the outfit. Mm-hmm. My issue one was with him addressing the, addressing the whole situation online. Mm-hmm. You don't go to the internet with that. No matter what, he was completely wrong for addressing it that way and on a, on the internet on top of that. Mm-hmm. That's something you wait for. Like, she couldn't call me after that show. I know that. Don't call my phone. <laughs> you better call me, when you, call me when you're in the airport on the Uber ride home. Mm-hmm. That's what I would hear from you. I would hear from you no time after that show. My issue lied with the way she reacted. Now, she take a tasty, trapsy ass out there with that outfit on and wrap her heart around her man's neck, massage his neck, and it's, it's basically like she didn't want to let him go. And he was singing, though, you can't do that. You cannot do that mm-hmm. if you're in a relationship. You cannot do that if you was my woman. What made it worse was he wasn't there. If he was there... I, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not coinciding that it would have been better. Mm-hmm. His reaction may have been different. Okay, yeah. You don't know, that's Usher, but you don't know what thoughts go into your head. <laughs> you see a woman <laughs> rap up with Usher, sing it. I mean, and, I, see, for me, what I want to take into consideration with this whole situation is her, um, who she is. Uh, as a platform, as she's an actress, and then she has to, you know, the way she interacts with other stars and celebrities, right? Me personally, if it was done that way and I, I didn't feel comfortable about it, I would address it when she comes home, and I don't want it to happen again. Yeah. I ain't take it. Like, I agree with you to say that social media shit, that don't make no, no. freaking sense. Me and you live in the same house, but, but, but uh, what the hell are you on social media for talking about this? Um, I don't have a problem with the outfit either, because, you know, 
I think I didn't know if it was. I don't right. feel it was that bad. You know, I don't think you know, if it was that bad either. You know, I mean, being the times where you know we wear these things now, I don't have a problem with the outfit. Um, but for you to wear that outfit though, and another man have a uh, wrap around your waist, like I said, and I seen this it, on I social media with the rest of the world, it might have been. I mean, it might have been for the the entertainment bros. Um, you know. But I I get it. I get where I get his side. I get where he coming from. Only thing I don't agree with is him addressing it online. Right. I get where yeah, he's coming that. from. I get his feelings. Yeah, have that home. Have that I get home. how he may have seen it the way it was to him in that moment. So, you know, certain things like he's in he feelings right there and there. Yeah, yeah. So I just spa- think he, that he's puzzled. He's puzzled. Yeah, he didn't act rational to the situation when he should have. One like me when she come home. Hey, um, you look nice and all. Hey, that little why would I show? We ain't doing again. Eh? We ain't doing no celebrity. I feel as if I'm your man. I understand your platform, what you do. Don't, I, do I, feel, words, yeah. I feel that disrespected. That's not that's not gonna happen again, please. And then that's that. Yeah. What about you, madam? How you how you feel? Be wrong. I wrong for what I say. Or how would you, how you think he should have handled it from a woman? So, perspective? from a woman's perspective, I agree with both of you. I don't think he should have gone to the internet. However, I look at things from a three sixty view. Mm-hmm. Warning. Plenty of y'all can hate me. What happened with her dancing on Usher? Kiki was wrong too. If you're in a relationship, she was. You don't do that. Entertain or not, you just mm. don't do that. And make what makes it worse is the fact that you're not an average woman. Usher has access to you. You are probably running the same circles. So what she did was wrong. He was wrong for addressing it online. However, though. You watched the process, what happened afterwards when that video hit online and Usher them was like, don't get me into it. Now you have the industry clowning on you. So I could understand his ego being hurt and him acting in that moment and saying, okay, I don't know what to do. I got to take this online because now everything happening online. I don't give him right for it, but it's just a 360 view of me understanding why he reacted the way he reacted. Now, here's the thing. That I have to raise an eyebrow about. Yes, she's an entertainer. I agree with that point. But you're an entertainer in a relationship. A few weeks ago, probably like a month ago, Savannah James was to the same Usher show with her and her friends. Usher came and Usher signed to one of her friends. Nobody knew Savannah was there. I only knew because I follow one of the friends in the circle on Instagram. And that's how I saw Usher and look at Savannah. He and sing to Savannah. It didn't pop up online. She was there. That's alarming to me. So he is like every other man who know certain women you don't fool with. Because mm. even, for instance, when there's a rumor that goes around that when Beyonce was doing checkup on it and all the slim thug them was there, Jay-Z called them. It's like, y'all don't get cute on that set. Mm. So even though we in the industry... You know I'm in a relationship and you know the respect, the boundaries of my relationship. Even if you look at Usher, Usher really ain't start doing much until Kiki started, you know, really getting into it. And that's when he was like, okay, no problem. Yeah. yeah. She was right. Too, she was too much in character. So I give Kiki wrong because if you in love with this man, respect the man. He wasn't there, like River say. He wasn't there. And then you know that is going to end up on the internet. And that could bruise somebody's ego. And then I saw the internet. And the thing is, I feel for him because everybody online ragging on him that, oh, she's make more money than him and she's the breadwinner and all of that. <laughs> See how all of that is play into effect. And when you're talking about thousands of people doing that, it's more than just people in Lil Nassau talking about you and then they move on to the next topic. This is the world talking about this. So I get his point. I give him wrong for taking it to the internet, but at the same time, I give Kiki wrong for the way that she acted. And I have to raise an eyebrow to their relationship because why are she in respect your relationship enough to know not to sing to you? Fox. See, and, and, that, and that's why it's fucked the internet too, you know. That's why it's fucked the internet too because... Yeah. Because like you said, they raised the question, oh, that he don't make the, the same amount of money that she does. Mm-hmm. Why does that validate his feelings? What that got to do with him like, being what a man? Have, exactly. I feel disrespected. Like, why? Because and initially when I saw this, I was I was on his side completely with how he came out with it, right? Mm-hmm. Then I take a step back and look at it and say, that wouldn't be a way a way that I would handle something, right? Mm-hmm. But I had to, I had to um, put into question, okay, we don't know the temperature of their relationship before she gone on the trip. Mm-hmm. 
They get a hug some type of call, some type of beef, not speaking to one another like that, not on good terms. She, she gone she out there. Yeah. She gone out there, do that. And I seen this on the internet. Oh, I hot. I piss. Yeah. I live it. But she just come home and wouldn't make me that way. That's all. Yeah. I, 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 all that I think, I think um, regardless, she, if she had a newborn baby with him or whatever, like I feel like that's a disrespect move. You should have never done that with Usher or even in public. Anyway. On top of that, on top of that too, I had to look at, um, like you say, he probably already feel insecure in the relationship because of her of status course. compared to his status. Of course. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's something, that's another conversation we need to have. But I mean, you know who she was when you meet her. Still low. So I agree with that point because Kiki Palmer has always been over the top, right? But, and that's why if you watch an interview with her and Steve Harvey, Steve was telling her you need to, basically Steve was telling her you need to be with an alpha male, which in he's telling the truth because it's not a knock to him, but with her energy and with you making less than her, you're going to feel some type of way. There's going to be some type of insecurity there because she is so out there. She's not one to be sit back and reserved or whatever. That's just seeing her, which is fine. Well, I, I do agree with what he said, right? He know who she was. Mm -hmm. But in reverse, she know who he was. Well, that's so, a fair point. So when you get into a relationship and you know someone on, in on the same level as you, whether it be financial-wise, social status-wise, you still have to take into accountability that's the person you choose to be with. All right, so great. the respect factor have to be that you... as a I've been with women, boy. I will ask you I've ahead. been with older women who have emotional intelligence, who have intelligence on the whole to know that, hey, if I do certain things, right. it can make my mind look a certain way. And right. that don't even have nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. You have some women, you have some women who tell you they're taking you on a date and they won't pay for it and they'll give you the card in the car. Before you get in the re restaurant, right, right, to make it look like okay, it's you know, yeah, so it's, it's still, yeah, still yeah, 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 you gotta yeah. understand as a as a as your partner, you, no matter what it is, especially if y'all always could be in the limelight like that, you can make him look any kind of way with the smallest of things. Yeah. Now, I just want to clarify: I'm not saying that the man is insecure of wanting to address Kiki Palmer and dancing with Usher. However, I can see where he could have some insecurities within the relationship. Yeah, I feel because so. of her right, her status, right? Oh, see, this is her person, not a status, her personality. Because you could have a woman who has great then, status, like Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z been to every Beyonce concert and happy being in the back with his hands folded because his character. Her status does not affect their relationship because he's strong in who he is and his character and who she is and her character. See, but the thing is, Beyonce right, knows how to let Jay Z lead. I so think Jay Z powerful too now. I mean now, but but that's I think, my thing. I think we judging Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, and we should get his name. I, I don't know his name, but that's we, even bad. Jesus, see, we calling the man Kiki Palmer boyfriend. We, we're judging him, right? No, we judging him based off what we know of him through the media. We don't know his personality. We don't know. He could be dominant in the household. He could be the more dominant person. We know Kiki Palmer um personality. So we could we we have we have a gauge off of, of that. But um, we don't have we don't have nothing off of him. We don't know his personality. True. He could be the more dominant person. Darius Jackson. Darius, yeah, Darius, Darius Jackson. Jackson. True. Darius could be the more dominant person in the relationship, but because his status isn't on par with her. We only growing off what we know of her. Now, I don't know if he's more dominant in the household. Reason being is because if you really dominant, like you say, you would have never bring that to social media. Yeah, boy. I can deal with you when you reach home. And see, that's my thing. I'm not going to... If I have insecurities, right? Or why I'm not an alpha male, right? And I meet a woman who has all this fame and stardom. Why would I even put myself through that? Why would I even put mean? myself through a situation where... I'm, you gotta so fit, so why so, you don't put why why you why you of this I don't like you 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 ain't everyone ain't you people just do things the way they do things so here's the so thing that's what you have to understand because you ain't gonna do it don't mean someone else ain't gonna do it so here's the thing I had to question I asked myself the question if I was Kiki Palmer right how would I would have handled that situation in my way because Winnie 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 hello mm -hmm. I think that's her last name I hope I'm not getting it wrong I'm sorry Winnie but. When she went to the Usher show, her and her boyfriend was there. This is after Kiki's incident. And she's an entertainer as well. And she's there with her boyfriend. And when Usher, like, came down the line to her, like, she jump up and she sat in his lap. And he was like, oh, Usher was like, my girlfriend. yeah, Usher was like, oh, so you chose. 
that was Winnie still being an entertainer, but at the same time respecting her boyfriend, like she gave people a show. So I had to ask myself, how would I deal with it in my special way? The thing is, for me, Asha would know not to bother me if I was in a relationship because he would know the lines of, he would know the boundaries uh, and the respect of me and my partner. It don't matter if my partner making less than me, you could treat my man like a fucking king. I'm sorry for cursing, but you could treat him like and a king. And then let's not even do that because, like, we we have some celebrities who date men or who uh, have had husbands who we don't know them. We don't know shit about them, but, but you could tell, like... Your boy went on the show. Yeah. 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 Like, who, yeah. like homegirl, Nikki, you can't go around her husband. But that's what uh, I'm trying to show. That's still being an alpha man. Yes. And, but the her. thing is, you could be an alpha female because, again, people think I like so out there and stuff. Honey, I have no problem saying I is full to a man. I don't care because you will lead. If I with you, you will lead. So right. therefore, you're going to be the alpha in this situation. You care. You could be alpha female in your own, but in the home. Yeah. You still be too alpha just that the alpha male still reigns. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, ve- I'm, I don't, That's I'm a I submissive mean. woman. I, I am a submissive woman. If you do what you two need to do. And first of all, if I trust you enough to be in a relationship, that says it enough for me. I have, I'm submissive. I'm a submissive person. It is what it is. Y'all call me whatever y'all want. Call me. I'm going to be old with cats. Mm. But and a vibrator. You, but that's why I'm to say beautiful. from you, the side of the relationship with somebody, it's certain things you should already know and accept. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Except if you know, like what? If I decide to be in a relationship with Kiki Palm, I should know what come along with being with Kiki Palm. But you won't expect that, that to be, be disrespected. Grope, that she could be groping on out of my neck. Yeah, you and know, she's like, anything that she do is going to be freaking be brought to the spot like a big, a big combustion. But you won't expect yeah, but, it to be disrespected. But, but she still has to know that she's in a relationship. Yeah, That's two different things. I understand that. Like I said, it's, it's deal with it at home. That's yeah, what you deal with thing. it. I made him look more weak. That's why all these comments come about and you can feel extra kind of way because you didn't put it out there how weak you are. Now, I also think women have to stop saying, oh, he insecure for saying, for feeling some type of way. See, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's that why no one don't respect their man probably. A lot of women is invalidate men's feelings. So, as a man, he's supposed to sit there and... See, that's my problem with this generation do. A lot of them feel like they could do and say and get away with anything and they supposed to have people... Or men on their side that ain't that are allow them to do these things, and you know, that's right. just not factual. Like, yeah, that ain't that ain't realistic. A man ain't gonna sit there. Well, I don't know what kind of man can sit there and allow his woman to do any and everything and not have nothing to say about it or not have some type of issue with it. Now the thing is, it also comes with maturity because we all grow. I was one of them women who would too. Like maybe if I was twenty five or whatever, I wouldn't have seen nothing wrong with Kiki, and I would say, oh well. He probably is the one with the issue, but prime example is one time when I was in a relationship, my boyfriend was off the island and I had his car and it was like one o'clock in the morning and I was out and he called and he was like, Hey, where you is? And I was like, I still out. And he's like, why are you still out? And I said, because I out, I having a good time. And he's like, Daniel, go home. You drive in my car. If you in my car, take my car home. And I was like, you can't, like, it was a whole argument. You can't control me, this, that, next thing. Right. But as I got older, I understood it was not a controlling factor. It was the fact that for a man, man men, when they care about you, they're naturally protective. So you out one o'clock in the morning in my, in the car that is very nice. I'm on the island. Suppose the car break down. Suppose somebody roll up on you. Like all these things going through a man's mind. So it's not him being controlling. It's him being protective. And right. we have to learn the difference. We have to know the difference between being controlling and being protective. I didn't know you was out in the first place. Huh? He knew I was out. He just he knew I was out that long. Like <laughs> I supposed to go to dinner and go home. But friend was... Friend was out, out. I was outside. So, so when you, he called me one o'clock in the morning, I, him, like, I go on some days after, else after dinner. No, and that was another thing. That was another you thing think, he was upset about. You think what's your? You think a woman should be coming home at three, four o'clock in the morning if she in a relationship? If she in a relationship, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Every once in a while, now if you doing that every weekend, hold on now. Without your boyfriend, hold on now. Hold on, hold on, hold I on. Think, I think that's only a problem when you married. When you married, I feel like you have an obligation to be on. You shouldn't have the set standards before getting married. There should be boundaries before getting married. Yeah, it should be. I, I only think there's an issue if you do it not every weekend. Not, on special occasions, like for instance, that was a family member's birthday. So yeah. on special occasions, that's fine. But if you do it not every weekend, you can't expect to marry that woman and expect her to stop doing that. Or Facts. marry that man and expect her to stop doing that. Facts. No, it's going to continue. 
Yeah. Mm. It actually might get worse because people think like the Bible tells you it is better to marry in layman terms. Peter tell the women it was it's better to marry and have a little bit of stress than to not marry and burn with with intimacy with urges. Mm. So when you get married, like it ain't gonna be easier because now you have somebody else to take on. There's gonna be some high and low roads and all of that. But that's the that's the situation you choose to take on and you love that person regardless of what's going on. You make it work. So in a marriage, it might be a little bit more difficult to like stick it out sometimes because things just get rough. But you got to do it. That's the decision you made. Yeah. So you're trying to say if you if, what you think. 90 time, seconds. You got 90 seconds. What time you think your woman should, should become a woman, as your woman, you know? You, as my woman? Yeah, boss. Hey, man, it, it really depends. Like, like she said. It ain't an issue, but if you're doing it every weekend, and another thing, another thing ties into that too, if we live together or not. Mm-hmm. No, if y'all live together. I, I if we live together? Yeah, y'all live together, it's your woman. Yeah, that can't be a, a, um, something that you're doing in the norm. It shouldn't be. Like every time you go. She shouldn't even be a woman if she's doing it in the norm. Yeah. Meet yeah. I might meet you doing that. Now, you know, some men like that though. Okay, yeah, you should never have a problem with that. True. That's you just got to find what works for you. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, any of y'all heard about the police sex scandal? Yeah, child. Which uh, one? I say again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say again. Yeah, right yeah, which one? Which one? The recent one, the one that came out last week about the officer using his badge to induce sex upon some innocent victim being a woman or multiple women, women because we don't know that's one incident, but we don't know if he's done this more than once. Disgusting. I speculating, but I'm just saying. He's if, a he's if, cool nigga though. I wanna yeah. I just so curious if she had a guy with a a male companion with a because it didn't say that in the report, right? What what's the report? Let's hear it. They was on the beach. I would, I they were they they were on the beach? They was found on the beach. That's uh, all it said. And then the officer found her on the beach. Okay. All right, here's your officer accused of using barge to solicit sex. A police constable is behind bars after being accused of using his badge to solicit sex. Constable 420 Shaquille Williamson said before Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt charged with prosecution. Prosecutors alleged that Williamson was on patrol alone July 5th when he came across a couple. So it was a guy in the car. Wow. Parked oh. on the beach. A name check revealed that the 32-year-old woman had two outstanding warrants. Officer Williamson allegedly told, told she... That's what you said. Told she to have sex with him. They, they were that wrong. Williamson was not required into a plea. He was charged and I bail. Turns to court October 12th. So what do he do? Make the person watch? I don't understand. Probably yeah, tell, I don't... He probably tell him leave. Probably but tell him was leave. he on patrol by himself? This, this is so confusing to me. Because some niggas them, don't do that. Yeah, sometimes they just be riding by themselves, you know. So They yeah. might be in the, the cars with don't have the siren on top. But if it's only me, if it was only me, and I catch a couple, you think I get the balls? That little guy, yeah, like yeah. Some no. Why spot. you want patrol by yourself? For true, you weren't supposed to patrol by yourself. Yeah, I don't know, but I sound right, but not sound like that. Sound like the story ain't really how it happened. Yeah, like like the story where they given. I care what you say, but you, your girl on the beach, or you whoever you trying to cut it in the beach, and the mom pull up in the mom. First of all, you all thirty, you thirty two. Why are you on the beach in the night? So book the a, rush, the thrill. The, so thrill. Book a rum. the thrill. The thrill. <laughs> book a rum, the thrill. But, but who says it was a man she was with? That's true. That's the next thing. We, we can't we assume. Wait, I like police or not? But I go at the, 32 hours and go on no beach in the night. I already know from 28, from <laughs> a, I probably 27, <laughs> not to go on the beach in the night. That from they start raping women and niggas on the beach, I stop going on the niggas beach in the night. The what? You want to hear them stories? <laughs> niggas? But you forget, you forget they had a trend like around like 08, 09 where they was raping niggas and women on the beach. They rob you and rape you, wait. Oh, I never been to the beach. Yeah. Never, 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 never been to the beach. It was happening a lot. Else. It was happening a lot on the beach out east. I, I ain't never been on the beach in a car to go cut a movie. I had a pull in. I had a pull in with a little alley with a little corner, with a little corner where someone I know, like, if I know your corner's dead and I know no one's beach, your corner? I go to Daniel corner, like, watch it. But a beach? I said, why invite no boy? I wanna go somewhere I know people don't pass the traffic like that. Mm. The park in the yard and cut a movie. Now I sit I sit on the beach. Um like sit on the beach in the night. And cut a movie. Yeah, but not in the now, car. I've like, gone I've gone on the beach. Like you said, I've gone on the beach and gone down. I have gone on goodness <laughs> way. I feel like I walk on the way down and cut a movie, but I feel mm. like 
If he in the car, there ain't too much play. There ain't too much I could do. Yeah, I got. And plus, I got. That's true. If he actually on the beach, I get. I got time to move. I can run. I can leave you. Exactly. Go in the water. Swim. You have had a sunroof. Yeah. Never utilize it. Tell that us. Way. Tell us. 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 Tell I'm quite sure this isn't well, the first time that happened. Yeah. There was an immigrant, sorry, an immigration officer like two months ago. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You got a problem for that? Mm-hmm. Soliciting sex. From mm-hmm. the, from everyone, immigrants. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's getting some good pussy, dude. I mean, sure. <laughs> it was a Jamaican woman. Why would you say that? Oh, my Lord. What I was thinking was, <laughs> what that. I was thinking was, that's kind of a sharp move because so probably couldn't speak yeah, English. Yeah, they got, but yeah, not even so that. Like you, it, what you could say, you ain't been this year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't cancel us, please. Yeah, we talking shit. We talking shit. Oh, <laughs> this is all fun and jokes. Yeah. But wow, they, they both wrong. They both wrong. Yeah, that's Straight wild. Up. Straight up. He, he wrong though. He, he wrong. He can't be pulling up on the beach and doing that to females. Yeah, you know, like, I, something like that. That's, that's my weird, f- but, my first thought when I heard this was he's a serial. Not doing this. He's a serial rapist. It's disgusting. And, and furthermore, yeah. lock me up. I would actually, and that's why knowing the law is so important. Right. Because... You think she has something to record? Like, how? what proof does she have, though? But the thing, that's what I was going to say, knowing the law is so important. Because as a person, as a human, you can record the police when they pull up on you. Yeah. You, you can record tell them. You, you can't. You can record them. Second of all, of why are you patrolling you by yourself? Why are you here by yourself, sir? What's that's going so on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, like, that's, that's why happened. it's important to know the law. You know they got a rape kit, right? Yeah, that's what yeah, I, I just gonna say. She probably took a rape kit that's the day after. No, it is final. No, but you didn't. Think, you can't bid. And, you didn't think that whenever it happens, you can't bid. Yeah, she no. probably. That's no, what I'm just saying. When it happened, she up. probably take a rape kit, and his DNA was found. But the thing is, but did she agree? Like, I don't understand because they say solicit sex means it didn't ensure if it happened. But that's but, still forcefully doing it though. No, but like, solicit sex means that somebody not forcefully, um. Penetrating you, but using certain things to have sex, sex with you. you. Like, yeah. like how you said, he's using his position as warrants or whatever, using the yeah. warrants to have sex with you. Yeah. So what yeah. did what did they say to her? All these warrants could cost you go to jail, or I could take you into the station. That's why knowing the law is so important. Because from you coming to me with that, but oh, I could take you into the station if I could tell you. First of all, um, where's your patrolling officer? Like, why are you here by yourself? I could flip the script on you because I know the law. Mm. I could parry you out because I know the law and I can tell my person record like legit. And probably too, you have to take into consideration. Maybe a person was scared too, because now you're facing somebody with a gun, but you ain't sure what they could do. But you say, but if he, if he tells you to war in his job, it's to take you in. Yeah. But you now telling me I need to have sex with you for that. No, I mean, that's, that's why he fucked himself. But I'm saying, when me pull up on you and drove to Warren, he has to bring you in. But first of all, <clears> how <throat> you even get here to find out I have two warrants. What's going on now? He's Why you patrol. here? Say he's doing patrol. I used to patrol. I do nothing illegal. I mean, the the I news did. report never say they he catch them in an act of anything. So how you even run my name? What's going on here? Man, they they have the True. right they have the right to patrol if you like in an area. Yeah, they have if the they right say you look like suspicious, they could run the name and they could run your name. Yeah, and stuff like that. But my thing is right for people. People got got to understand. Once a police get warrants, you you automatically get in lock up. Yeah, automatic. Fear. Once you get a lock up, then you go before uh, the court, the state, and, and then, pay the bail, and then you pay the bill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it ain't as rough as you think it is, people. This, but I think she just probably was scared mm-hmm. and didn't want to go through that process or didn't know the process, and she just give him the you pussy. Just, but most times you have a warrant, you know you got a warrant. So if the mom pull up on you, you don't know yeah, what it is. I've had I've had instances with people where where they pay their warrant, but it's still in the system. Yeah, so you have to nah, travel with your receipt. Pay, yeah, they pay whatever they are. Well, see, that's different. Whatever that situation you, your, your is. Whole but it's still level showing that they're your, your whole confidence level different when you do that, though. You say, saying, like, you, you, the police can know? Why you want scared? But for you, probably, you don't have a warrant. I like to admit, I've been back in the yard. I know I had a warrant. I've been she was, in the yard. She had to been scared. And the person she yeah. was scared to, that, that police officer intimidated that probably them. That warrant, too. That police officer probably intimidated them. They didn't. They never identified the woman. The woman, right? I but think they want to protect her identity. That guy knew it. Forty was one of the newest numbers, right? 
His face looked familiar. He didn't work uh, with Joel. I, I People keep asking to see the face. Huh? His face looked familiar. Like, like, I, like, I, like I look I at him and I was like... In any event, it's really disgusting. Yeah. Like, you don't use your authority to do things like that. But that's a common practice. We'll save the fun out of the process. Yeah. Sick yeah. fucks. Yeah. It happens in the workplace all the time, though. Yeah, it does. It we, does. Had, we had some directors call fire from that. Fox. Yeah, some girls, some girls complain. And they get, no, you have to work for one. I guess niggas got all the information in the work for one. Disgusting. How many of your directors did they do? <laughs> yeah, the female one. No, the, no, no. <laughs> the one who, we on camera. I don't want to get through this. And then also my daughter's brother. But uh, get a black. I, I still want to know the person who was with this girl, right? This couldn't have been a male because ain't no way this police officer could have do this. He have a gun. It doesn't matter. What that mean? Would he you, have a would gun. You would, you, would, you, would your story be to tell the police? Yeah, but you dead. A twenty? You think you kill a twenty? Now let's 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 be honest. Now you know they can make up stories if they have to. But it gotta make sense. Yeah, it gotta make sense. But okay. now it gotta make sense. This is this is probably off topic. The guy who they found in the bushes of the party. Uh-huh. You think the story made sense? What the police said. That? I didn't even hear the story to be honest. The the story was um, two police got shot to this two um, off duty police got shot in their arms at the party. The next morning they found the guy with four shots in his body. Uh-huh. So when y'all get shoot, y'all didn't realize someone else get shoot because that don't make sense to me. I don't know. I I don't. I can't tell you I wasn't there. If I if two of us get shot on our, I mean on our arms and the, the assailants got away. Put yourself. It could have been a shootout. It could have been a instance. Straight bullet. He get hit with a straight bullet. No one see him. Or he didn't even he know. He hit four did. times. Listen, it, let me ask you a question. There. Where is the police body cams? Yeah, that that's another nah, thing. I ain't coming about yet. We we do grow up for that. We ain't coming about yet. I think they yeah, that's a good them. question. They, they, they that's a good have, question. They didn't say before. Yeah, I think, supposed to have a body cam. I think Where since last cam? year or two years ago, they were supposed to be using them. That's a good question. I didn't have happen. I know. Oh, I don't think they could happen. If that happened, old boy would now be for sex. It is what it is. All right, what else we got? Ninety seconds on um, the flag incident. Well, 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 the flag situation with the better man. This guy came out and said that he was the person that invented the flag and they stole the idea from him. Um, react to that. They're saying that they're going to give. He was supposed to get $20 million. $20 million up front. The Bahamian and, flag. And, and 100000 every year. Every in year royalties. in royalties for the situation. He said that he was creating a game, a board game. And the board game has the same colors and symbolism as the flag. And he was going to take it to get pardon, but he didn't. And they stole the idea from him, and that's how they created the flag, the, Baham- the Bahamas flag. Oh. So do you all feel as though we getting anything for real? Or just getting sweet on the wait and see. Um, the, the Bahamian flag was a competition, you know. It was three people who won the competition and they put all the ideas together. So I don't know where he's coming from with this Bahamian flag. He makes Bahamian flag. Well, that's his story. I don't know what if happened. If you look at the history of the Bahamian flag, you'd see it. How do you feel about it? Not so it's the capital. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that song is no right now. How do you feel about that? You that, that. I asked a very pertinent question and I was who actually won the song competition? No, he didn't. Who won it? Oh, we don't even know. See, that's that's... <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know because the, the funny fly? thing about it was the, his song went viral because it was a joke. To the world, on it. to the world, like bad as him that won it. No, he didn't. Who, 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 who won it? Nobody remembers because it wasn't as funny as his. Well, song. you have to tell us you have to back it up with facts. If he didn't win it, then who did? But he ain't in it. I got him back up no five, but he ain't in it. I looked on. I was looking online to see who won it, and I didn't see. I didn't know there there was a competition. In the there was a song competition. Uh-huh. Like, like I, I can't. I don't see who won it. Well, I could have entered if I knew it was a song competition. To, um, do do what? Guys could enter. We could have done song competition. Yeah, we can we create a song. Let's do that. I was when I was getting dressed today, right? Because the podcast, the song? no, uh, the podcast is two for two. Yeah, two for two. Yeah, you got it. I was like, oh, that's so clever. Yeah, <laughs> <You got it. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> two for two. You see what we did there? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Right. That's good. I did. That's good. I did. But um, y'all watching any shows? There's this show I'm supposed to tell you all about. It's called Hijack. 
please, please go and watch that show. Hijack. Hijack. Really and really I don't know if you all have Apple TV Plus, but I'm sure you probably is so Google, Apple TV yeah, Plus Apple you probably is hijack your films. <laughs> but <laughs> um, check it out, please check okay. it out. That 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 an amazing show. So you just watch Apple TV shows? Not really, you know. Oh. But I I gone on it one night and I was like, let me see if they have anything because they don't have, normally never have anything with sense. Like they had nothing good in a minute. Mm. I, I watch a few shows on there, like C. Um, swagger, you know, swagger. I don't, I, I, I don't recall. I watch, I watch a couple of shows on there, but when I saw this hijack film and I saw Idris Elba was in it, I said, "Go oh, right, saw mm, it." Okay. You watch the yeah. show? Huh? The witch show? No, I didn't. I didn't see that. Watch what 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 hijack about? Hijack is okay. I don't want to spoil. Well, spoil alert for everyone. Hijack is about Idris is a he is a um, what do they call a negotiator? Okay. Right. He went on this plane to get back home to London. He was in Dubai, and apparently these hijackers from London decided to take over the plane. I don't know because the stories. I mean, the the show is ongoing. So I have to wait till the next episode. But I don't know okay. what their objective is, but they're trying to take the plane to London. So I don't ah. know if they have plans to crash it into the building mm -hmm. or what they have to do, but that's that's what the, the show revealing. Right. And it's really good. If you just in it, I don't watch it then. He's that's my problem though with shows. I don't like being in suspense. Mm. So give me all the episodes one time. Oh, you want binge? You want binge watch it? They yeah, have about five episodes out now. Binge. The next okay. episode coming out Wednesday. So. I can't wait for that suspense. Wait. I, wait I don't it. like the suspense. Like I watched, so I finished Manifest. That was I'm good. supposed to finish that. Yeah, Manifest. The last season good. just came out, right? Yeah, the last thing I'm gonna. You just, finished all that. Yeah, I finished all of it. Um, I'm a Bridgerton like season one like queen. I love Bridgerton season one. Um, Queen Charlotte, I'll be mad. I can say this on camera. I'm mad at everybody who overhyped Queen Charlotte. Anyway, what is that? that? It wasn't. It wasn't it was like a spinoff, eh? Yeah, it was a spinoff mm. from Bridgerton. But one thing I do appreciate is you understood why Queen Charlotte was the way that she was. So they give you the backstory on that. Oh. And what I also appreciated about it too was it's about what we spoke about earlier. Because you know, back in the day, they used to arrange marriages, and she got married to the king, but she didn't know what she was getting herself into. But she stuck it out. Yeah. And she was that support for him, and that's true love. Like, and that's the thing. That's why everybody has a flaw. And when you find out what somebody's flaws are, then you either make the, the exception, like some things you can't change about people. It is what it is. So you make the thing, you make that exception and be like, you know what? I can love this person regardless of this. And I can work with that. I don't want to spoil anything. Well, but King, Queen Charlotte, wasn't the boy on the show? Hmm. Wasn't he gay? No. That wasn't a secret? No, it wasn't a secret. That wasn't a secret. Oh, no, it was uh, um, something mentally on that. Yes. Something yeah. Meant, yeah, yeah, yeah. So something like that you can't change. But mm. she loved him. She found out how to tame. And because he was in love with her, like he really fought hard to get himself to under. It, yeah. Right. And then another show that, not show, but Apple TV, which I think is good for every Bahamian to watch is Sydney. So the documentary on Sydney. Sydney? Yeah. I oh, think it it's, yeah. It was really dope. It's really good for you to see it, especially because there's somewhere in that documentary where he says like, on the islands back in the day, he didn't even know how he looked. They didn't have mirrors. mirrors something yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I watched something the other day. That's hard. What, I watched something the <laughs> other day. Yeah. Right. That um that struck a nerve in me, but it was so true. It said that um, you know, you've never seen your your face with your own eyes. Think about that. You've never seen That's your deep. face. With your own eyes. You've only seen your face through a reflection, a reflection mm -hmm. or images. That's that's something that's crazy. Mm. Yeah. That's when you deep. think about it. That's well, deep. actually, never mind. Because if you take a picture and you're not seeing your face with your own eyes. Like no, you weren't yeah, looking at you were, yourself. I could look, yeah, like yeah, my yeah, eyes ain't looking at it. Yeah. yeah, you weren't looking at yourself. That's crazy. No yeah. so question. If I take one of my eye right now, is it going to turn it around and look? Is it, yeah, it probably will if you pull yeah, it too it far. It will. <laughs> It probably will. <laughs> yeah, that's like yeah, but I think the Sydney, I think that the Sydney documentary is good for everyone. Um, to I'll check watch. that out. Yeah, definitely check it out. You have anything you got going on? I know you say that you're doing your got your sis coming back up. Yeah, you got your comedy back. hype. Yeah. Anything else you want to let the people know about? Um, I don't know. 
just um God is working. Just follow me on Instagram, D E E A Miller, to keep updated on exactly what's about to come next. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. How yeah. often how often do you keep your cause you use our clean gut now? I I got <laughs> like I's a mom, I don't even be cut as clean <laughs> as you all the time. But I love it though. So, I love it. Thank you. I just go it's depending on how I feel. Some days I just let like some months I go like once a month to let my hair grow. But the problem is like I actually have to like gel it down. Mm. So when I don't when I'm feeling that no more, then I'll just go get a cut. All right. Yeah. I wanted to ask you all a question, a pod question. We never take a pod vacation. We need to take a pod vacation somewhere. So I think and we need to do more pod outings. That's that's true. That's yeah, true too. We, we don't do vacation. nothing. I don't do nothing with my friends. They don't call me to do nothing. They don't invite me to nothing. Try, try. Have we been trying to get together to do things? But what do you all think about a podcation? What do you mean, podcation? Go the, somewhere. The, the, go somewhere. The group of us. As a group of us. And, I think it's. We, I think it's great. We don't even have the podcast. We could just go and chill and I think have fun. I think it's great. So I did. I did episodes of Sis in Atlanta. Oh, and it's a great dope. experience. Um, it's a different background, but when it comes to vacation, like I think, I think it's dope. I think you should do it. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I date myself. Like I'll take myself out. Yes, yeah, currently single. Would you travel by yourself? Yeah, yeah I, I travel by myself now. No, okay. Would you travel to your, by yourself to a country you don't know anything about? Oh hell no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Cause I, I seen uh-uh. a story. I just seen a story last night about this woman. She's a trucker from Houston. She went over to Dubai and now she she's been held in Dubai because she was screaming. A, was something happened. Yeah. Apparently she got into an accident and when she went to the record when she went to the rental company to retrieve her stuff because they think she left her phone and some of her personal belongings in the car, in the rental car. She got into an altercation with one of the persons that work over the counter at the rental company. And she started screaming at the guy. And you know in Dubai, women, you have to, mm-hmm. like, you can't raise your voice. You can't do certain things. So women always have to portray themselves as women. Mm-hmm. So she, she got arrested and she's being detained now in Dubai. And mm-hmm. waiting, she's waiting a trial, I guess, to see if mm-hmm. she'll be. They're saying she's facing possible jail time. So... That's somebody else's country. You can't, you can't, like, for me, I would never fly to a foreign, like, that foreign of a country by myself. See, See, my whole thing was when I saw that, either she's a very stupid woman, or she doesn't know Dubai. Why I say she's a very stupid woman is because if you know the laws in Dubai, and you know as a woman, you have, like, certain places you can't go without being fully clothed. You got to show certain clothes, um, certain, certain body parts. Yeah. You cannot raise your voice. You can't even have, if, even as as a couple, like if me and a girl go over there, we can't be walking in the in streets all and on unless we mark. Yeah. So there's certain things you have to abide by when you go to those countries. I hear enough. And that's their law. You can't do nothing about it. Yeah. So, you, so I mean, still, you, I, I trying to figure out what she could tell him. What do you tell her to her to get? She's like, supposed to raise her voice on her. They, yeah, she's not supposed. She as a woman, she also has to conduct herself as a lady. It, That's it, Dubai. He might not, not even say anything disrespectful. No, it's just communication, trying to understand yeah. and comprehend each other. But like, that's different cultures, that's different. They were saying speaking, that you know? they were saying that he did start to shout at her too, and he was being uh, um, aggressive towards her. But you still gotta hold you your gotta composure because mm-hmm. even if, like, let's say. he go off the top and disrespect or spit on or something like that. She she could probably have the right to sue him. But now you put yourself in more harm's way when you mm-hmm. react the way you react in a different uh, country. You see how they hold the gal for a little... What, 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 what the basketball player name? Oh, uh, for the Red weed. For the yeah, weed for pen, the weed pen, right? yeah. Jesus see, you got to know the law. That's why I asked if you'd feel comfortable going no, by yourself the country you don't know anything about. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. When I... Ch- w- and that's the thing. Don't, don't take it for... Just because I hop on a plane and go by myself, that don't mean when I'm there, I'm by myself. Yeah. yeah. So I have family members. I have friends. So that's what's going on. Um, And that's right next door. So imagine traveling to the east. I would never. No, 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 no. Because you just have to be. It's for your safety. Mm. It is for your safety. Um. So no, even. No, 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 no. No. I wouldn't advise any, any woman to do that. I advise women to. 
treat yourself how you would want to be treated from somebody else. And that's how you really get to understand like who you are as a person as well. Don't depend on somebody to show you that affection. Yeah, yeah. You show yourself that affection. It ain't. And so might nobody. It ain't. People might say, oh, you weak or you lonely or whatever. No, it's just you genuinely loving yourself. Mm. And then that's a different level you stepping into because when you can enjoy your own company, yeah, that's, that's, that's like, dangerous thing though. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm. you might not need, you may feel like you don't need anybody, to, you know. Now the thing is, I get to spell that myth. You need somebody. You need companionship and you need partnership. You do. You need it. You do. So I, just because you dating yourself, that don't mean you must disregard the whole thought of you being with somebody. You going out with yourself is just you really understanding who you are as a person um, it's you enjoying your time and it's you building that relationship with yourself because some people can't be by themselves. No. And that's, that's more scary. That's scary. That's scary. Oh, man. The fact Why? that you can't be by yourself. Why are you so needy? Boy, listen to me. That's a scary day. Yeah. So, yeah, I got three proposals as a poet. And, and you're welcome to join us, too, if you okay. want to. But listen to these three proposals. We got next month, Jamaica. Next month, Jamaica. Jamaica. Dogs say oh, next yes. month. I see, I see. But if we put it together, really, really uh-huh. 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 if we put it together, we could we could do that. Chris, they got Chris Brown, Jamaica next year. I won't catch that concert. Mm-hmm. So they got that. We got for my birthday. We could go either DR or Columbia. That's a good one. Or next year for I think February, March, we could catch Trini for the carnival. Wherever it is up the carnival. Oh, Carnival. Ooh, that sounds C- so carnival. 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 <laughs> so everyone sounds like they need an album. Carnival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. I, I like the carnival. I like the carnival. All right. Let's make it happen. We can make it happen. You got a whole, what, six months of blonde or so? Yeah, that's where you can put, put your corn together. Yeah, corn man. Together. We get an Airbnb. We have a nice little episode while we there. Enjoy ourselves. Uh, Trini it is <laughs> my, oh, my, old, yeah. my old boss is, a, is from Trinidad Yeah man I gotta show, me, show me the places where we get going on go Trinidad is, is a dangerous country too Yeah a lot of them but I Trinidad's mean, killing bad He's kidnapping Yeah, they, yeah they, they, they have a serious gang culture there She told me that I didn't believe it And then she pulled up some videos on YouTube But it, they's killing yeah, bad They're one bad. of the safest countries Well, well Right now we're one of the safest oh, countries Yeah, yeah. In the for, world, actually. For tourists. For tourists. The thing is, the Bahamas... But the Bahamas don't have a crime issue, you know. Nassau have a crime issue. Yeah, that's true. Nassau, Nassau have the issue. And then that's true. everybody else. And Nassau have the issue. Hey. And people might hate me for this. Go but ahead. Nassau has the issue due to su- successive governments failing to do national development plans. Yes. There's too much people on this island. There's not enough jobs throughout the economy. So when you have idle hands... Then you have people who can find things to do for money. You yep. don't even know the Beatles Island. If they would do it on these other islands, that's where we could spread out and stop. Being I've, cool. I've always yes. been, I've yes. always been keen on thinking that they they sold us the wrong dream. Tourism is not supposed to be our number one industry. No. What your boy was saying? I, I've in, always uh, felt like that. all the names. You know, you know, I, we have a Ragonite. We have natural soil. We have all these things. We have oil in our water as, as a well. Matter of fact, what, are, what are we trying to do? What are we why trying we to don't? Now? Why we don't have factories here? Okay, what are they trying to do now? They trying to legalize weed for us, so we get we get out of dispensaries, right? Legalize we, what? Weed. weed. Oh, weed. Right. But guess what? Guess who can get the dispensary? Oh yeah, we don't know the the government got buy so half we, of the shares. So we still eat. So they yeah. some still eat. So it's still gonna be crying. Like. I don't think the tourism market is a bad industry. You know, I think it's what we should be number one. No, it's I think horrible. what we fail to do is cat is really capitalize off the tourism industry because we have something natural. Yeah, I do not. I'm not a fan of drilling for oil. I'm not a fan of it. Let me tell you why. Go ahead. So I think there's different levels of tourism. There is business tourism. There's entertainment tourism. All of these things we haven't hacked into yet. You know what our main driver of tourism is, which is a sense of a false pretense, and that is that crew is poor. People coming in only for a couple hours. We say we have three, four million people coming in a year, but they in heads and beds. The two mega resorts too, though. But it's not even the that. Two, the, it's not even that because the thing about that tourism and it's a fluctuating business. It is. So you you have periods where you have low and high periods, and you have to weather the storm throughout those periods. What that does in the industry, it it, it gives you a dependency upon these people. 
whenever you have an industry where it's not a demand, it's a dependency, yeah. then that's a problem. If we had an industry, if we had industries where there were demand, where they need what we where got, where like what what we have, y'all have to get. Yeah. Then it's a difference. That's why I feel like we need to bring factories into the country. I think if the factories are done properly, like one thing you don't want is situations where as we have air pollution and smoke pollution. Well, we have too much islands for that. We have too much islands for that. They don't have to be, everything don't have to be piled up on Nassau. That's the thing. See, that'll be the problem if they start the factories and they start. Now, mind you, I'm not against it. But I'm just aware of the ev- environmental, the environment. right? But I'm then just you aware have people would buy with what? What have twenty and thirty year old cars driving around? But they had problems smoking up the place. Yeah. I I feel like the number one thing the Bahamas need to work, uh, focus on, and worry on is trying to feed ourselves with livestock. Like we needed to more Fair. Our culture to f- feed Fair. ourselves instead of having depending on bringing in 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 exporting. I mean importing. Livestock and meat and stuff, so we could we could learn how to feed ourselves. I get I get I could go on with this, and, but how uh like the country swings it, and I guess we just dabble into um uh really keeping our people down, like how keen we is on that. I could go I'm into that in, in more in more than ten ways. We we were that we were taught this culture. Of dependency upon the government so that you can continue to vote for me, even though I give you lack, lack of the policy. Exactly. So it it's a lot. It it's is like a lot. You could it's, you could look at it in so many ways. You got mm-hmm. you got a form of you got a form of um, what you call it? You got a form of two taxations in the country. Like you being taxed twice for certain things. Mm-hmm. The fact that he what we what he just brought up is we don't import nothing. I mean, we used to import every day. We don't really export nothing for money. No, you know what I mean. No. So that's the that's the problem. On top of that, you ever try to send something to the from here to the U.S.? Oh, it's, it's double. Crazy. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. And the other Caribbean islands, a lot of Caribbean islands do do export. And but I had pineapple from Elytra. Jamaica. I had pineapple from Elytra. That's the best. That tastes like candy. Yeah. That was so freaking good. You know it's better it than the pineapple in the food store. You know how long it takes to to grow a pineapple. Like pineapples, like a very long time. So I feel like them people should have like kudos to y'all, like kudos to y'all to grow it at the season and having to really take care to make these pineapples come out the way it is. But see, anything, a lot of things, you know how long it takes to, to make champagne and wine, and eh? Yeah. Once you have a business and you have these things... Yeah. It's a process bro. A lot of things Our country lacking I can yeah. tell you But we've it. also been taught A culture to look down Upon agriculture Because if you Even if you look in schools They you put the low culture. Performing students In agriculture, in agriculture Right yeah. So yeah. we've been That's the mentality We've yeah, been shoots. trained yeah. to yeah. And, and we've been trained To think that Office oh, jobs yeah. Blue collar jobs Blue collars Banks All these things When you look These banks are, Banks closing Left right and center like Bank you, Mechanics may want money to buy anything. Like, let me show you a horrible way. I went to the bank today to make a wire transaction. I've been in the bank for two hours. Literally, they only have two tellers on the counter. Two, two hours I was in this bank, only to go up to the front of the line and them tell me they don't do wire transaction in the bank branch no more. So what are you going to do it? I have to do it over the phone. Well, what up? I was like, wow, like this country, I, we you backwards bad. Ah, I know you want to flip that. We back up the walls. And they, that bar. that made me go on the whole rant into my head. It's like, wait, like we, I got a call to make a white. But I First of all, why why can't I even, like, as a someone who's used a, a bank and why can't I lock my car? These have so much scams over here. Why they didn't create that feature yet? As simple as that feature is in the States, you can lock your car. So no one, no one have access to your card. You can't swipe your card until you press unlock or not. Yeah. It's like so many days we behind on. But, but we like the ass behind. Bro. That's neither here nor there. I just want to say that, speaking of behind, when I had my staycation at Atlantis, they was top notch on the ball with everything. I had no complaints, no issues. It was great. I advise anybody internationally, locally, if you want a good place to rest your head. Go check out Atlantis. Mm, like, it was really good. They treat you good. Yeah, they do. Based on what you said, Atlantis, the bar sold bar that she's talking about it was formerly Dragons. 
So it's still oh, located okay. in the, yeah, still mm-hmm. located in the casino. Yeah, in the casino. Yeah. And Peranza is over by the cove. Yeah. It's a back part of Mosaic. Yeah. Um, so you access it from the part where it takes you, like you're headed towards Royal and Dolphin Key. Yeah, yeah. It'd be the left right there. Um, oh, the, nice. Like she said, no Italian restaurant. Wait, like, you should do the this. The ambiance of Peranza is amazing. Mm-hmm. The food, I've seen the food, bro. No, I haven't tasted it yet, but the ambiance alone is like, wow. I heard it's like, outside, right? No, it's, it's inside seating as Inside, well. they have a patio. The outside oh, part the is party. amazing as well. Yeah. Like the whole setup of it is gorgeous. The food is good. I had, I, I've I had heard the food, the food is yeah. amazing. I want to taste it for myself. I'm going, we're going to get there. But yeah. it's, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, thank you guys for your Atlantis advertisement. Yes! <laughs> I have to make sure I treat my sponsors, I mean, my, my, my backings very well and make sure you all so get your... For the mob then. Yeah, get your plan with we Alive. Need to do that. We need to do that support the group. Yeah, mm-hmm. we could do that. Definitely, we could do that one we of these could, weekends. We could do that for real. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could do it. Let's plan that. <laughs> also, Alana's got this promotional thing going on. That's where employees get 50% off Still? on restaurants. You're yeah. Alana's employee. I'm Alana's employee. We get off 50%. Yay! Hey. All of we is family. I guess. All of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, once again, another amazing episode. Um, our 50th episode. I'm so proud to be here. I'm happy to be here. Let's keep it going. Let's get from 26 to number one. If you get mm-hmm. till December to do that. You know what I mean? We can do it. I'm yeah. sure we got this. We got new co-hosts. Um, we got new things, ideas. We get yes. Now. Thanks once again. Yay. For coming through, Danielle. Thank you for having me. We love you. Um, we all, you're always welcome to come. I've already told you that before. So, Thank you. you. Come I love on, y'all bro. too. Just stop by. Um, yeah, you and your Michelo. Yeah, anybody that gives you good bear mm-hmm. has the your best interest at heart. You, you know, yes. I did. I never had a Michelo until like maybe three weeks ago. They're really good though. Mm-hmm. Michelo are the best light bear. They taste better than Bud Light. They taste better yeah. than Corona. They say they taste better than Budweiser. They really whatever. good. They the top notch light bear. And I I caught on to it from a guest. He would come and he'd order Michelo Michelo. I'm like, let me taste this Michelo. Let's, Smooth. They're really good. She's sweet. And it's low in calories, too. Well, so you're trying to watch from. a little figure. Like, how are you watching? Yeah. Like you're getting up in the age of almost a menopause. So yeah. You watch a figure. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, may the universe grant us serenity. Uh, I mean, you're ready with older women. Say again? No, he tried it once. He like yeah. older men now. He... <laughs> <laughs> may the universe yeah. grant us serenity to accept the things we can't change. The courage to change things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Until next time, we are out of this. <laughs>